Hey guys, welcome back to another Fire Emblem Heroes video with your host, me, Indulger. This is Ether Rage, week 96, day two. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's jump into the defense. <laughs> Man, in which I had more results. I want some more feedback. So far, we've got a failed Kranya attempt coming over here. So what I've done to try to stop that is I brought back my real trap. Uh, I'm not really worried about Vantage. I, mean, I just actually dumped it because I didn't want to even give them the option to try to Vantage anything. But now, unless you can somehow come here and get the healing tower before the bolt tower goes off, which this person doesn't have, you shouldn't be able to do some cheese tactics with like a Kranya. So I tried to solidify the right side. Now let's see what we've got. Axe Breaker, Aversa, plus one. Double Naga, good for scoring their plus one. Alphonse is here, which doesn't seem to match up well against all these things. And then Edelgard versus Edelgard. This is a plus one attack based. All right, let's get into it. I don't see how this is possible with this team, but maybe Edel will surprise me. Somebody said they beat this with Ike. So they are panicking the back line, but that Diversa is not panicking these. And this, is it this, Sabotage Def, no, that is giving her some stuff. That's so stupid. <laughs> That's so stupid. I think I got yelled at yesterday. Somebody in the comments said that you shouldn't run this. This is too poisonous. This game is dumb. Well... I mean, I just roll with what I've got, guys. As I roll two Adels, it just seemed too easy. And Adel's not even going to try here. This Thrasir actually managed to... This, this Thrasir is so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Oh, man. She's plus two. So she's acting as a plus 12 unit. This is a... I, I mean... That was like a fully ready-to-go Adel, and she couldn't one-shot me. Because she couldn't one-shot me... Well, this year's gonna do her thing, get dance, destroy the dragon. You can't tank this. You can't tank it like that without dealing, disrupting the dancers. And I, I don't even get to see what happens after this because I'm pretty sure we're done. So, bummer. I really just want to see this thing go. Let me get some data, guys. Where's my fights? All right. <laughs> so it's just gonna be a one-off week on that defense. Don't worry. We will not most likely see that again because the only reason I'm using that once more is because of Thrasir's bonus unit status and Adel's as well. All right, we're going to do a mock battle. If you want to be a part of the program, leave me a comment with your in-game name, what season you want to be fought on. Take a look at the video description for full details on how you could be featured here on the show. Uh, if I don't find this soon, I'm going to pause. There it is. I love Ethlon. I love Ethlon wants to be fought blind. Don't know what we're getting into. Just from the name, I thought we would be maybe fighting a calf line, but I'm mm, starting to think that's not what's going to happen. So if it is a calf line, maybe we'll use Leon. Let's take a look at the teams real quick. Always want to make sure that nothing is wrong. Uh, this is my tank team one. George is the bonus unit. Didn't use him yesterday. We ended up using this team, which functioned pretty well. Pretty happy with this. Uh, somebody was saying, why aren't you running wards? I am. This is a different Altina. This is a ward Altina. This is a defense Altina. We'll see the offensive Altina here in a second. But, I mean, with what you have, you pretty much have to run the same thing. So I'm running tactics on everything else. So that's not going to apply to him in this case. But I'm going to try to deal with that Fjorm's running goad. Uh, Altina here. This is a different Altina. This is an offensive Altina. She's getting goads from Fjorm and Aversa. One quick change on Aversa. I've dropped her reposition and I've given her rally attack speed because I do feel like that's pretty flexible to even bump up Altina more because she's not getting any hones or, or tactics so that actually might be preferable but obviously that ruins some of my positioning plays I'll have to make sure I don't screw that up and then George is here as well he can also give attack so this can be super Altina this is probably the strongest Altina I've ever seen if I can stack this this and this that's even possible, but the uh, only way that's going to be any better is if Altoon is the bonus unit. Team 4 is Leon. We'll see if we get that. Team 5 is under construction, Hector. Okay. So I don't know what we're going to use against I Love Ethlyn. Okay, so it's the very common bait me map. Just because you can hide all this crap at the side. Okay. Very barren little area over here. That's interesting. 
That garbage dump to the left, but it, there's no walls. That's good. Is it five? Good. Excellent. Uh, it's a six, a seven. Ooh, I like fellow Panic Manor seven. I like it. And you've also dropped 2,000 into this Bright Shrine. Ooh, oh boy. Good player, too. Okay, cool. I love Ethlyn. I see you. I see you. What you got for me? Broadleaf. Tunnel penalty. So this is panic based. Do you, does this Ethlyn have panic? No. Grand Scratcher. Folknet. Counterattack. What do you do? Okay, so you're playing some tactics or uh, infantry pulse shenanigans? Not necessarily. Okay, who's that getting? Grand Scratcher. Uh, how it, the highest attack. Does that occur before or after the debuffs? At the start of turn one with the highest attacks. I don't know who will get it. I guess we'll watch that. Azura's here with ground orders. That's dumb. That's stupid. <laughs> and uh, Dancer, two Dancers. Ah, and a Resort Trap. Oh, boy. Who's that going to target? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Leon seems to be out because of the strong reds. And just the fact that you're here. This is just going to be a miserable week with all these Vasirs. Oh, man. Uh, um, comp competent in her own right with her speed, so I don't think Altina could stop her. Because she does have Dazzling. I mean, I'd love to run Leon here. That'd be super fun to run Leon here. It's ground orders. Okay, maybe I can run Leon because we should have you. If she comes here, though, Marabolus can't do anything. So I'm interested to see if you know, Leon can do something because I can at least stop the stupid healer. I don't love Ethlyn like you do. I love Ethlyn. I want to kill her. Let's she needs to right. die. Uh, I probably should have put All George right. over there. Let's go. Time to settle up. But... You got panicked by what? The panic manner. Oh, this is stupid. What the hell just happened here? How the hell did, how did that machine get that far? <laughs> okay. Good old ground orders. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that was. Of course. Let's be on our way. And as much much we just saw on my team, I she just doesn't die. She won't die. I just get triple teamed, and she doesn't die. She's so stupid. She's one of the dumbest units in the game. She's up there with Bram. I actually think I'd rather fight a Bram than her on bonus unit week. Um, so that didn't work. I'm going to go look at that again and figure out how the hell did that rally trap, that restore trap. Do you have a rally? Okay, so it's a chain jump. So a restore, rally, and then you can get danced there. That is super dumb. <laughs> That's super dumb. Um, what the hell can I do about this? Because you're really giving me no options to move. I guess now that I know that's not the trap, I could go, but I'm not really banking on that. It's a 70 panic, man. I'm just three short, so I'm going to get panicked, so I can't do anything about that anyway. Really dumb. I don't like this. Dumb as in, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> um... I just really need to get rid of the panic manner. Or ability to stop some of these rallies. Now, I can stop the Thorsir with a Fjorm. I can stop both of them, actually, with a Fjorm. So I can stop the rally, the Restore Trap altogether with a Fjorm. But if I wasn't going to run that, what would I do? What is your desire? Again, I would like to just be able to come here, but without double range, I don't think I can. I can't even avoid the panic. Now, I could... No, I'm just stuck. This has really screwed me. This is just... I have a bad... It's always been a problem. I need two ranged units, and I don't have them. I would love to be able to even just get here with a cane, and I don't think I can do that either. So if I could just, like, roll out and just get people out of the way... It will be 
Is that enough to get me to stay alive? You're gonna, if I saw that, I'm getting panicked. I've tried my best to avoid what I could. Could I deal with this thing? It's probably another dance coming, right? Wings of Mercy? No. And then a heal. Oh, boy. Yikes. Okay, well, I almost had her dead. I was scared of that jump, but there's no jump coming. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're doing 17 damage. So, if I was a gambling man, I, again, I know, if I didn't know what that was, I would just maybe try to kill you so I could break you and then go there, but this doesn't seem like a very good, uh, vantageable situation. Now, wait, I'm close! If I had the smite here, could I put Kane here to deal with the rest of these things? Now, this isn't too bad. Now, Rupture Sky isn't great because I'm a beast and that's not good, but... I don't think she's gonna double me. But I also don't think I'm gonna be able to one-shot her. See, I'm gonna try this again. Let's just let this play out, but, uh... I'm close. This is close to beat this with Kane. That panic manner is just ripping me to pieces. Okay, that one's being silly. And there's a bold fighter, though. Ah, that sucks. Here comes the bolt tower. Time to settle up. God has blessed well, my steps. Well, I don't know. Me? What is yes? Can I beat this? I don't know now. <laughs> Chili is being stupid. And now I can't counter because George of the Jungle decided to get next to me. If it's not the trap, ah, it's a trap. Be careful, it's a trap. It will be done. Um, what is your yes? Just trying to see if I can beat this. It will be done. We're close. I, I feel like we've got something cooking here. Time to settle up. It will be done. Could at least get one pot. Do you have Windsweep on or something? Why did I not even do any damage to you whatsoever? Why is your defense so garbage? What the hell happened to Mirabilis? She's just getting destroyed. Shield session? What? <laughs> what? Grant's bonus to the foes have already acted. God has blessed my steps. What is your desire? Okay, I'm gonna go blast her. And, well, do you have Miracle on? No. So, I had one unit loss, one pot loss. Okay. That's not bad. I'd probably take that, because you're being mean. You're being mean. <laughs> uh, I want to try that again, except we're just going to have Smite over here this time. Is that what we wanted? Yeah. Yeah, but unfortunately that causes attack, though, which is going to get panicked. Hmm. So that may not work. So that might be the best we've got for you. I love F1. I could play some Fjorm shenanigans, but when you fight me blind, we've got a number of... I only have so much time to play here. Oh no, I think my cat's vomiting. I'm going to go check that out. Oh, animals. Animals are so much fun. Great. I'll deal with that later. Uh, where were we? Uh, I was trying to see if I could beat this with Kane. And the last we were playing... I'm going to put you over there. And... Step back. Is that what we wanted to do? Man, I mean, yeah, if George is here, it could help, uh, help a bit, but... I think this is what we did last time. If this doesn't work, let me pause it and I'll try to get sit, set up in a position where I can deal with this stress here. The fact she doesn't kill me is nice. The fact that there's no secondary follow-up is nice. Okay, now what were we gonna do? Oh, 
Oh, right. I was going to gamble to do that. <laughs> I, I don't even know where we left off. I was going to do that, but then you're not dead now. You're not dead now because I got... Mm, yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because I got panicked and I was getting attacked from this Naga. So if these two had their assist switched, I might have been able to do that. But it was a gamble, so I wouldn't really call that a good play. Let's be on our way. Is this going to be any better? Well, hmm. I mean, I can do that. Let me get him out of the way. Still, a, it's still the Cecilia that's going to jump, right? Because the ground orders with the Azura, and I'm going to die to... Yeah, it doesn't make any difference because she could move. Yay, ground orders. It's actually worse because I just got blasted by Lena. Ah! All right, so we're going to end it there. I love Ethelin. It's pretty gross. Um, I will continue to reiterate that IS, we have nothing to be able to stop order skills. And you just released Edelgard. So here's my theory. They just released Edelgard with basically built-in orders. I have to imagine the next legendary is going to stop her going to stop her because that's what Aya's does. They release some poison and they release the antidote almost immediately. And maybe that's how we're finally going to get a way to stop these orders because that's stupid. Yes, you can stop their stores and stuff um, with like Fjorm or isolation based stuff with Mila. However, there really is no good counter to that. So, well done, I love Ethelin. Thanks for the fight. I hope that helped. I didn't really do much. I can tank that, again, just because I'm running tactics, that's a really great strategy to force me to go naked. I really wish I could, I just couldn't hide the Nagas and have Kane transform. You're punishing, me back my, you're punishing my back line, so I like that. All right, defense is done, anything come in? I want more, I want to see more death. Um, yeah, we already met the teams, let's do it. Really, really nervous about this week. Any Thrasiers we see are going to scare me. This is a pretty basic beast team. Man, oh man, if we had Edelgard. Is it not Fire Week? Where can I even see? I don't think it is Fire Week. It's not fire. It's not water. What do we got here? It's a Gale Force Tibbern with pass. Ooh, okay. Any lunges? No. Man, oh man, um, again, you just bait me with this stuff. I just really want to take it. It's a 50. It's a 50. Can you move? Yes, you can. The burn's going to be able to go one, two, three here, so it's going to be hard for me to test these traps. Acceptable. A Versa in a corner is acceptable. I still don't like it, but it's acceptable. Plus three. One. Ten. One. Five. Three. Okay. Ooh, they really invested in tactics. Okay, well, one of the things I see is I could snipe the Nysala here. Break these two. Maybe Claude goes then does that. Is Claude above 70? I'm guessing not. He's gonna get 10 for the bonus, 55. Oh, are you really just on the nose just like everybody is? <laughs> 70. Uh, I don't have, uh, what's it called? I'm not running a dancer with him. So if I was, I should be able to just snipe these two, take a hit from Sothis, but then there's the Lian too. I don't see an easy way to player phase this. Tiburn is definitely the threat here. Double Gale Force. Okay, let's uh, let's talk about it. There are no range units. I don't even think I could do what I wanted to do. Like, whoa. I don't know what that was. Finger slipped. Um, I don't even. I can't even do what I want to do. Say I put a Kane here, a George here, a Corrin here. 
will I survive? Won't get panicked. But the tree being here and the past being here makes that pretty difficult to do. Say I just come here with a tank. I'm vulnerable to pass. Once he goes, Gale Force, he can get behind me. So I'd have to, like, turn one, move Kane up, Naga Naga, smite him here, and then even if I put someone directly behind him, can he pass me? He's going to be able to move three spaces. Two, three. Let me pause and look at my teams. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm thinking we're going to maybe uh, run Altina here. Why? Because I've made Super Altina. Let's talk about this Team 3, okay? So, uh, uh, versus here, I can actually give more speed. In the past, I've had real trouble beating a Tiburn. Now, he's going to get that 10. It's 45. Let's do some math with Altina here in a second, all right? So her base is 49, we get that, that's 55, throw an extra uh, 6, 61, 65, 69, 71, 76 on the Altina. That's my theoretical maximum, however, there's a panic manner there. And I believe she's not over 50. No. So if I was going to run the rally, I'd have to take care of this thing. Here's what I'm thinking. Somebody breaks that. Fjorm's here. Has to be here. It's the only place she can go. Shuts down that dancer. So when we beat the Tiburn, the only thing that's left is the Nysala. Comes down here. One, two, three. Should be able to blast him fairly easily. Maybe not, though. He's got 46 speed. Who can take down the Nysala? Ah, yeah, George has got this, man. I mean, I think so. George will just blast him, and then it's just these two. What do you have, swap? Well, maybe not. So maybe one, two, three. Swap, maybe he goes back here, and then it's fronting with Sothis. <laughs> I don't like it, but that's really my, probably my best play. I'm going to do that. I'm pretty sure we can kill that Tibber. So. Um, it's a little tricky here. Because I can't do everything I want. Okay, so maybe Altina moves up. Turn one. This Aversa moves over here to rally her. Aversa is set. Altina moves here. That means Fjorm can move to where Altina's standing. And then finally, George caps it off by being right here. So that means George is going to have to be the one that takes the Panic Manor down, because Aversus has to stay here to get Altina next turn. Do you guys see that? Am I crazy? Am I nutso? Cool thing is we're actually blowing them away, too. Are they getting any... Ooh, home, that's a bad idea. You're susceptible to panic. So I'm getting, I am really confident this Tiburn's dead. Like we were in super, super Altina zone. Uh, there's no healers or anything. So I think I'm gonna make that play to get rid of you. Move Altina up, rally her, move her here, move Fjorm to the left. George settles up by coming here. What is your desire? There's no dragons. Well, there is a dragon. So eventually I'd like Naga to be next to somebody that can kill a dragon. I'm guessing that will either be Aversa or Altina. Meanwhile, do I want to test a trap? I mean, I could. It will be done. But I really don't think I'm coming this way. There is that possibility.
No one is hurting that, so I will get it back. Yeah, what's this? Do? What Test the trap. Desire? Not the traps. We know that's the trap. That's good. You're sending me? I am sending you, George, to do that. Again, I should be safe. Don't know what Bronze Throne does for me or them, but I'm going to break it. And then finally sit here because I still need to isolation them. I love you too, Fjorm. You're so nice. You stop these stupid beast strats in their tracks. All right, guys. I mean, here we go. <laughs> I haven't tested this before, but this is freaking Super Altina now. You have my trust. Is anybody running Panic Ploy? Did I miss that? Let's find happiness. Well. Then let's move Naga down to give George Dragon Killer. Maybe he can take us out this. No, wow, don't you have don't you eliminate? Yeah, you eliminate effective against dragon bonuses. Never mind. Okay, so ooh. We'll, we'll figure out that Sothis in a second. It's gonna probably gonna be Super Altina again. So that's a, that's my trump card. I'm gonna jump on that trap if I need it later. What is your desire? All right, I mean, I cannot pump this Altina up anymore. She's getting, like, an insane amount. She one-shotted him! <laughs> she one-shotted him. Okay. It's a 30. You're not going to move. I think we're just going to step up. Time to settle up. And we'll... Probably attack the George in that scenario. So I feel like that's a good idea. 37 speed. Uh, I'm considering that done. I want to make that play. Just want to make sure Leanne doesn't do anything stupid because Leanne has been known to do stupid things. If I did that, it'd have to be a 60 trap, guys. I'm tempted to try to kill her now. I love you. It'd just be a Leanne left. I think we're, that's a play I want to make. Let's find happiness. Oh, even, even if it is the trap, it won't matter. So let's do that. Leanne's gonna go. Now, again, um, I have some options. I could just sit here and let Leanne clank off me and then deal with the Sothis later. Or I could try to kill her now. I like trying to kill her now, actually. That's gonna go, oh crap, that's gonna go off. And you got more speed to hit the George. Icky. Careful, Icky! Careful. <laughs> uh, I didn't see that. 42 speed. Ah, oh, what a bummer. No one's giving her speed, so if I just went after the dancer instead, and that's not the trap, pretty sure I'm dead, because you're also getting, if you use HP, oh, you thought it, at the start of combat, it will be. Oh, that, that bolt tower is going to do me in, guys. I'll be at 29 HP, but that's just such garbage. Are you going to double? Is anybody going to give me speed? She's debuffed by three right now, but why? If it puts her at 44 speed, that's going to be enough, and I'm not going to be able to... Oh, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. A versus here with the speed. Oh, boy. Maybe that's good enough. It'll put me at 43. Even with that, I should be able to survive. Again, this assumes I can beat the Sothis. Sothis is not getting this bonus because she's below 34. Let's find happiness. This is calculates damage like other weapons, so she should die. So big and yes. Wasn't the trap. Careful. Careful. She's very much dead. I love you. Pretty sure I can outspeed you now. 
And let's try to find that happiness. Will you survive, Fjorm? Will you survive? Uh, yes. Hooray. I'm going to give the MVP to Aversa this time. That really helped. That really, really, really helped. Thank you. Because if that wasn't there, I think I'm dead. Because, again, oh. Yeah, you had a chill, but you have a chill now. You didn't have a chill then, I don't believe. All right, let's wrap this up. We got three turns. I think this should be pretty easy from here. But we know that's the trap and that's the trap. I'm starting to think maybe we should run Wings of Mercy on Aversa now that she doesn't have a reposition. She's going to be in the back line perpetually. I'm going to lose that chill attack, but it might be worth it. All right, give me a minute to think about this. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm Altina. Break that. Break that. And then George. Again, I don't know how to get all the ether without killing Aversa. Naga would be nice to be able to go over there and just, just get some clanks. It's a glimmer. Everybody else will kill her. You'll kill her. You'll kill her. You'll kill her. You'll kill her. So Naga needs to get over there. Maybe I just kill you with George. Break this open. Okie dokie. Um, four speed, you're being blown up. Break that. Break this. Take a hit. I should be able to finish. I love you. What is your desire? Yes. Well, hmm. You have my trust. It will be done. She's getting the kill by herself. So, can just do this. Finish up. Fjorm, you've done it again. Thank you. Sorry, Ace, but that's pretty easily shut down with an isolation. That's why we bring Fjorm to the table. Super Altina, she did so much damage, she one-shot a Tiburn, I can't believe it. I can't believe it, you know, that Tiburn did really have some things going against him with the debuff from Aversa, but, man, oh man, I mean, I gotta, I gotta look at the math again, I think Altina was in, like, the 80s for attack, something like that, oh boy. Alright, that'll do it for me, guys, thanks for watching, any comments you have for me, Leave them in the video YouTube comment section below or take a look at my Discord or hang out with me on Twitter or send me an email. Whatever you want. I will be happy to talk with you. Anything Ether Raids related or Fire Emblem related or life related, I'm here for you guys. I'm here for you. Stay safe out there, friends. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.